Hey guys, what is up? John here from fly8mikealpha.com online ground schools. And today we're gonna to be looking at an alternative way to check weather or kind of do some weather planning here. Now, although this is not an FAA approved way to do it, sometimes, you know, the FAA has great products and also there's some other great products out there that we like to use. This product really helps us get a full 360 picture in addition to some of those FAA things like looking at a prog chart and saying, yeah, the weather looks terrible all along here. When is it really gonna get better? And to what extent are we gonna see cloud heights and our visibility along this entire route going from Texas over to Florida? So the flight we want to do is from Dallas, Texas over towards Sarasota, Florida. Now, obviously really bad weather there. And if we look at the next few days here, the prog chart really confirms that for us. But what kind of bad weather are we looking at? So we see rain, potential thunderstorms. We see these fronts. Yeah, that's all great. We can look at Sky Vector, which is another great resource. And we can look here, we see red and blue dots letting us know IFR conditions, marginal VFR conditions, etc. We see some VFR conditions out here. But what is really going on? We see VFR there, VFR here, not so much in around here. So a great tool to use is actually Windy. And that's what we want to talk about today is windy.com. When you first pull it up, it's probably going to look like this. It's going to be showing you wind. There's a time frame down here. So we can look at a forecast for wind. We can look at wind for different levels. We can adjust from the surface on up to different flight levels or different altitudes here. What we're going to be looking at today is to try to better understand what is going on with the clouds and visibility. So I want to look at cloud bases, right? So what is my ceiling going to be? And we can look here right now, Dallas, not looking so great. It's looking to be around that thousand foot or less ceiling mark, maybe into the 1500 range. Not really though. And as I drag on through Tuesday, what's going to happen? Well, I want to go this way and it's, it looks like if I just can get past this, it'd be wonderful. But if we're not going to be going IFR, if we're trying to do this VFR, not going to be a great day to fly. And as I progress out here through Tuesday, I can see, yeah, it's still looking pretty bad. Let's look into Wednesday. Oh, it looks even worse. And we can see it looks pretty bad all the way across from Dallas, all the way towards Florida. Now, these are cloud bases or basically our ceiling, right? 1,000, 1,500 foot ceiling and even less is what we're looking at. If we wanna check on visibility, let's go ahead and take a look at visibility. So that's gonna be under clouds here. We'll go to visibility, turn on that layer. We can see Dallas. Well, let's zip back to Tuesday here. Pretty low visibility. Again, better if we can just get past that stuff. We get past the four and then to 10 miles and beyond, they don't really forecast. So we can see we go on this uh, blue layer here, four miles, and then into the green becomes 10, and then beyond that, 10 or better. So we can see here, yeah, it's, it's not so bad outside of Dallas, but we have that little bit blocking us later in the day. Still got a problem sitting around Dallas, probably not gonna be able to get out of here later tomorrow, Wednesday, looks even worse all along the route for visibility. And later into Wednesday, still really bad. And even if we wanna go fly the coastline, uh, where sometimes we can get a little bit better weather or at least a change in weather being near the water, getting away from the land. And obviously there's a lot less stuff to hit down there if we were gonna be flying at lower altitudes because the ceiling, well, visibility is still kind of a problem. And so if we look into Thursday, well, that's looking a lot better for us. Thursday's looking a whole lot better. We can zip right back to wind and see what kind of wind we're gonna have. Well, you know, at 5,000 feet, maybe we'll go to 10,000 feet. We've got a pretty nice little tailwind moving along there on Thursday. So we might wait till Thursday to fly. And again, if we zip back here and look at cloud bases, what can we expect to see on Wednesday? Well, still pretty bad cloud bases, pretty low ceilings all along the route. Zip on over to Thursday and we can see it's getting better. That front's pushing through Thursday during the day and later into Thursday. So Thursday's looking like a lot better day to fly. This is just a different way to look at weather. It's very similar to the GFA tool, the graphic forecast area tool that replaced area forecast that's available on the FAA website. If you guys wanna check that out, you can go to forecast and then you can come down here to area forecast and they'll tell you, hey, this has been replaced by the GFA tool. Very similar, but I kind of tend to find that, you know, there's a lot of wonderful information here on the FAA website or on aviationweather.gov. Uh, there's, it's an approved source by the FAA, of course, but you know, some of these private products, some of these uh, products that we have from private vendors tend to be a little bit more user-friendly. And I can tell you that this one, Windy, is pretty darn accurate for us. Of course, results may vary, uh, but uh, when everything else is letting us down, this is usually pretty darn accurate. 
And we even have some different forecast models down here we can look at when we're looking at the wind. This is initially created for paragliders and kite surfers and guys doing that sort of stuff. Um, pretty darn accurate and it becomes really accurate too up in these mountain passes here when you get into British Columbia, when you get up in towards Alaska. We have really good luck with it flying around Alaska, especially through some of these mountain passes where things otherwise may not be super accurate. We want to look at surface winds through passes. So that's it. This is Windy. Just suggest you guys check it out. It's windy.com. It's a cool little free resource. Uh, they have an app for the phone that's also really handy, and they basically just run on donations. So uh, just an alternative when you're doing some flight planning. Thought we'd share that with you guys. This is actually what we use today to decide that, yes, in fact, we are going to be staying in Dallas an extra day, and we will be getting out of here probably on Thursday because the weather is just not too doable. Some of these things here might make you think that, hey, I don't have to go too far to get to better weather, but the windy really gives you that full 360 picture along the route, what's really going on. A little bit more 360 than what these little random dots are showing you at the different weather stations on Sky Vector, and a little bit easier to understand than looking at the surface prog on aviationweather.gov. So if you guys have any questions on this, you guys know what to do. Leave it in the comments right below. And of course, if you can't fly every day, fly 8mikealpha.com. Check out all those awesome online courses we have on there. Private pilot, instrument pilot, commercial pilot, ground schools, and of course, so many others like seaplane, flying, tailwheel flying, etc. Spin training is free on the site there. Really recommend you guys check that one out. Could come in handy one day. And if you can't fly every day, fly 8mikealpha.com. Like, subscribe. We will see you all in the next episode.